How are you? It's good to have the opportunity, even though in absentia, to participate in the Congressional Issues Program of the Atlanta Chamber of Commerce. I would, of course, prefer to have been with you in person, as I was invited to do by your president, Ed Forio. I know that you're aware of the fact, though, that we have had some congressional issues uh, program here in Washington for the past several weeks. That has been rather confining. <clears throat> I want to commend the Atlanta Chamber of Commerce for sponsoring this program. If our free enterprise system and the American way of life are to endure, the business and professional leaders of this country must accept their responsibilities and take an active part in all of the affairs of government. Our system of self-government, of free men governing themselves, is not self-executing. It very often gets out of kilter, and especially as a result of organized pressure groups exerting more influence in Congress than their numbers or their just demands would entitle them to have. We often have, due to the vocal uh, presentation of pressure groups and minority groups, we often have the illustration here, the tale wagging the dog. The members of this Chamber of Commerce have a great stake in the operation of our government. <clears throat> the heritage that is ours of a free government and our system of private enterprise, that will be irretrievably lost unless more of our citizens inform themselves as to the issues before the government and before the Congress and make their views known to the members of Congress who will pass upon them. As Edmund Blake uh, truly said, all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. And if the people of substance in this country uh, take the position that they're just too busy to take part in politics and to inform themselves on congressional issues, well, you may be sure that the wasters and the centralizers who believe in moving everything to Washington, that they will eventually undermine <coughs> our system. <coughs> I hope that your forum uh, will provoke far-reaching awareness on the part of all of the members of the absolute necessity of keeping informed uh, as to the bills that are likely to be presented and to pass the Congress, the effect that they will have on the lives of our people, on the treasury and tax system of this country, and on the preservation of our great system. With the hope of the future, depends upon an enlightened, active, intelligent citizenry. Thank you.